the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You need to explore the application of the truth of the core truth of divine, and you need to be able to, to some degree, see how that core truth links up with other core truth. Right. You can't be in a hurry because there's, there's a lot of stuff that comes out once you have a CRT. Yeah. So which one, that, Brother Adams, are you talking about? Oh, I, I, I'm I, it. I'm, I'm gonna write a CIT for uh, Luke, just just to have the Luke ten one, right? The one we just did. Okay, yeah, Luke Luke ten twenty five and thirty seven. I'm gonna do that. Okay, but first, I'm, I'm I'm fine with uh, with uh, trying to find some app, some applications with that. I'm fine with uh, whatever. All I know is I'm renewing my mind. That's the, the the number one Amen. thing for me, and God is sharing some some truths with me, and and that's fine. Um, so I'm I'm good. I'm 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 here. I'm here to to be discipled. Amen. <laughs> because what what I think what we're doing is a a, a form of discipleship. Amen. Amen. Uh, personally, that's just me personally. So I'm 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 open. Yeah, let's do um, that. Let, let's do that. But Elder, let's tie in the uh, the your part because of discipleship. How to tie in discipleship and Luke ten, you yeah. know, with the, and how that fits with nine uh, twenty three to twenty seven. Yeah, you I, you want me right with that? Yeah. Right on that. Okay. Yeah. Could you? Wait. I wait. can do that. Yeah. What what are, what? Say that again. I like, so I, I like the elder. If you could do the the one we just did, because you didn't have nine twenty three through twenty seven. Yep. But, That's one, right? Yeah. I, think this I want you to tie in how's discipleship. So you interested in the word discipleship, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's why right. when 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 our bishop mentioned that this this parable that we were studying, you know, specifically outlined discipleship, and that I, I totally missed that. Right. Um, so you're talking about the sword. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the sword. Yeah, the okay. one of the sword. Well, I'm saying yeah. you, should, you should find discipleship in that Luke 10, the one we just did, too. Luke tying it in with Luke 9, 23 to 24. Okay. All right. So we'll we're, we're, we're pull, we're pull them both from together. Yeah, so, well, yeah, so the question is, what was the, how discipleship fits into the one we just did? What? What? Bishop is shaking here. What's going on, Bishop? <laughs> It's something, it's something you just gonna have to learn. So I'm gonna just set up and let you learn. No, 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 no. There's something that, that I'm gonna tell you. You have to find out for yourself. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm at the point to where I, I need some, some uh, examples. So, in, in me perfecting what I'm doing. I need to see what what you're doing, Bishop. It's going to help me perfect my, I don't want to even call it a product, but my efforts to to, to help me expound in a, in a direction that, that, that you're, you're seeking. Um, because a lot of times we come in and I'm, I'm given a CIT and it may not be what what you think a CIT is, and uh, wait, 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 we got a paper that tells us what the CIT is. I understand that, I understand that, but if my, my question is, you know, if 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 we're given our, our CITs, you know, you're to me, it seems like you're you're documenting the CITs, and you're 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 getting uh, more information on what's 
what, what we mean with the CIT. That's just my perception. Um, but what what I would like is for you to 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 share your CIT and and give us some kind of uh, uh, focus. Help help us to focus on 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 how we should be uh, approaching this areas that we are missing. I know you do that. But you don't do it with with sharing yours and saying, "Okay, well, I, you did, you gave me this." That's intentional. Pardon? That's intentional. And, and I and I know it's intentional, but I still don't know. Like I said, Jesus gave examples, and he and he he explained things, and that's what I'm asking you to do. Okay. He, did show, he did show his CIT. I, I, I didn't see it. I, I, I must have stepped away at that time. I didn't see it. You talking about for the one today or the sword? He did show his CIT the sword. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he did. This one, I don't think he had a chance he, today. Uh, but if you come back next week with yours, he'll have his up there. I, I can't help you until you have a CIT. See, well, I remember I had a professor in college told me this. I didn't like him when he told me, but when I realized what he told me later on, I appreciate it. He said, look, I'm here to help you as long I had problem, math problems. I went to him asking some questions. He said, well, he said, let me see the problem you thought it worked. <laughs> I said, well, I hadn't tried to work no problem. He said, he said, don't come back until you don't work some problems. He said, make sure you come back, bring some problem that you don't try to work, and I, and I can help you. Because I don't know what the problem until, you thought you, until I can see where your problems are. I like that. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. People didn't talk to you. Like you want, if you made a point for they go talk to him, you didn't have no paper where you would have been working from. You're like, you can't, no. You wasted my time. Right. I can't help you. Right. Okay. Well, you don't know what the problem is until you work the problem. Exactly. How do you say you have a problem? Right. <laughs> So I would, I would, I would attempt to work every problem in the section. <laughs> then I go talk to him. He said, "Okay, now, nah, now nah we can talk." See, so you mess up. Yeah, you went wrong right here. You got, you don't understand how the, the how, how signs work. And, and, and then I begin to understand what my weaknesses were. Right. right. Then, I, then I became, I became fairly decent at math. Uh huh. I'm telling you, like anything else in life, the more you do a thing, the better you become at it. Now, I'm going to say this to you. I can tell by your CRT. I'm at a point in my life I can tell by your CRT. How much time you just spent thinking about this scripture? Mm, okay. Because what you don't realize is, by the time I get a CRT, I think about this stuff at least three, four hours every single day. Mm -hmm. this, ain't, this, ain't, this is no easy stuff now. No. This, no. this ain't something. This ain't no come fly by night kind of thing. And even when I am putting this screen, when I'm out there in my yard, when I'm doing things, God is constantly talking to me like, I, 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 don't, I don't get this. I'm learning now that the most valuable resource you have when it comes down to spiritual truth is thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to impress on y'all. I'm trying to get you to understand, it's your thinking. Your mind don't never stop. Yeah, I agree. And I, and I do that, I even talk about it. I, talk, I, I I even run stuff by people, but uh, I hear you. I'm, 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 I'm all day long. I'm thinking. I'm looking at anything. I ain't just telling y'all to do this because I'm looking at my own growth, my own development. I want to come to the place where I'm fruitful, and I listen. I'm older than y'all, so I ain't got much time left. I'm in the fourth quarter and the two. <laughs> <laughs> I got two minutes. <laughs> Stop saying, bitch, I'm too close. <laughs> Nobody has time. But I'm in the bottom about four quarter with two minutes left. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, you know, 75 year old say you're in the fourth quarter. You're the yeah, man, we got to call time out. <laughs> you know, half, three score and 10 years, it about reason of strength, 80 years. 80 years, yeah. I, I set my goal to look. I'm going to assume if he give me 70 years, I'm blessed. I got <laughs> five years left. Uh -huh. 
you don't, you, I don't make sure you understand me. I got one, two, I got four years left. I can't be playing no games. <laughs> so I get up in the morning. Now I'm happy. I got a, I got a Bible right there by my bed. I get up. I got up the other morning. I started reading Roman chapter. I started chapter 16. I read backwards. Woo! Woo! I read backwards until I hit a verse that I could When I tried to move from that verse, I couldn't move. I tried to move again, I couldn't move. So I said, okay, I know what that means. That means I need to stop right here and let's see what you got to say. What you got to say? And I will read for the rest of the day. Oh, really? Like that fly, no, no, fly. Later on, I come back to Luke chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. Now I got, now I want to chew on that. So I'm saying, I want to keep my, I want to keep that thing that's running through my head. I now realize I wanted to be him. Yeah. I want him to know I'm thinking about you and what you say. Cause if I, the enemy will put something in my head. Right. <laughs> so, so <laughs> with that in mind, I think you'd be good, Brother Addison. With, with, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like you to do that. Let's, let's, let's leave with the, uh, your, the parable. We come out the one we just did. Come out with a CIT, like you said. Oh, for the scripture, because yes. we found out it wasn't a parable. <laughs> right, right. Yes, sir. I got you. Uh, his story. I'm going to certain people. And Elder, I mean, for discipleship, why don't we just look at that, that 9, 23, 27? 27. All right. But but I just want to say that that that, 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 uh, that metric no longer applies to us. As far as the three score and ten is concerned, we're sons of God now. You're immortal. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we don't have we don't have a shelf life. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, just, it's just that house or car you driving in. That that got a shelf life though. It got a shelf life, but you know. Yeah, I think you gonna stay on the plan long as you stay in the body. So yeah, I gotta I go for another. I gotta yeah. get another sixty years out of this baby. Just to make a mess of that I already made. Right. Uh, driving this one till the brakes fall off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Fall off, bro. <laughs> That's the point. You got to do it. You hold it together by super glue and duct tape. <laughs> hey, well, uh, Bishop, I appreciate. Uh, I really appreciate you. I appreciate all y'all. And uh, he challenged, bro. God bless. That's it. Bishop, I just want to say it's been a hard 27 years, bro. Amen. Amen. Hey, hey, hey um, El Johnson, you want to do the communion real quick so we can wrap it Sir, up? We got you. Yeah, I got a friend drop me off some cups, man. They did? Yep, yeah, gave me a little. You got to go, brother Adam? Yeah, we're going to go. We're gonna do the communion real quick. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I need to go. My son needs me to. to uh... On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. He blessed it, break it, and gave it to his seven to take it. <laughs> Wait. All of you. Wait. 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 I got my little away from everything. You did, you did. I, I came back. I said, a friend of mine brought me some cups and waivers. And he did? Yeah. I was trying to, I got, I got the, uh, the regular cracker. I, I lost my wafer somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. But, uh, I think we can buy these at the store somewhere. I can't remember where enough. Took yeah. bread, he blessed it, break it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat all of you. For this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Whenever you do it, do this in remembrance of me. And so they took the bread and break it. And then. Hmm. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. He blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink, all of you. But this is a cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shared for you and for all men, so that sin may be forgiven. But never you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So he took the cup. It passed it in the drink. And when they had finished, they sing a song. And we went out to and get some. Amen. Jesus, keep you near.
Come on now, brother. You do. Yeah, the best of you. Come on now. Be to all the heroes. Woo! Go from there. Please, mountain. You want to put that on TikTok? Yes, sir. I'm beginning to appreciate it more and more as I grow. Well, let me thank it as a praise. And you know, one of the things we did just is that this is more like to read a scripture together with the uh, testify. Yeah. yeah. That's the idea. You know, but uh, I, hey, Bishop, before you leave, one of the questions I did have was uh, who, how did you do that study and while you were working? Because you, you did, you did, you brought up the part is that he didn't take, Bishop didn't take the promotion or the, Supervisory work because he wanted to spend more time with God. And, and I tell you, I, I sent out a text third, Thursday night, Bishop. I said that I uh, I got to play Martha Church uh, Thursday night, but I'm been doing this. I'm going to go to a class in, in uh, June. So it, I had to finish this the other class that's 40 hours long before I could go to this class. So I'm, I'm wrapping that up this week. Uh, I'll be taking the finals. Uh, I may do it today, but at least gonna at least prep for the finals today and tomorrow. But but you you did brought that point about it, and and when we talk about the people in our audience that we uh, that we share these videos with, biggest sad thing a lot of people have is distractors throughout the week. Uh, people would. People that are supervisors, like I did take supervisor roles. And I, I definitely got a lot of <laughs> challenges with that, right? I did get one guy promoted though. One guy made a promotion list. That was a blessing. That was a blessing. You know? Um, but my point is it, it's a lot of things that the average believer growing in Christ or mature in Christ has to deal with and contend with the things in his world. The things you have to do for work and all that other stuff. It all works. It all works out. Yeah. I went to the lady's house last night. And her husband is lying there beside her dying. Yeah. That's like a baby in here. You see, life doesn't care whether or not you, your priorities are messed up. Uh, life, life don't come at you. I know it. And if, you, and if your priorities are mixed up and you ain't got God in the right place, but hell break loose in your life? Yeah. I'm sorry. So all I'm saying is, <laughs> come to Christ, your priority, your treasure is supposed to be Him. Yes, sir. And, and what I been trying to do on a personal is like incorporate it in everything that I, I'm engaged in. Right. Like, he is the background noise in my thinking. You know, I've been trying to keep that there, just keep that conversation going 24 7. Mm. Whenever you, you know, I'm interacting with another person, uh, in conversation, you uh, know, whatever task is, guy got to do, especially on the job where I was working, it's like, Lord, you got to shoot me out to do this. It was easier yeah. to me. Uh, but uh, it, it's knowing that wherever we step our foot is the kingdom. Kingdom is just to show up because the kingdom is in you. Right. And so whomever it is that we are interacting with, they need to be able to visualize Christ through us in that interaction. Exactly. And I, don't, I, I, and I uh, it, it takes a minute to get from total cardinality to this that state because we allow certain situations situation with me politics and stuff. Kind of manifested that to show me how far away from Christ I would could get, but um, I think it's part of growth too. Because you know, the Lord came to save the world, not the church. You know, and He came to work through the church to save the world, but He He came to save the unrighteous. And he employs us in those unrighteous settings in order to pull people into the kingdom of God. Right. That's why we find ourselves there. You know, so I told a friend of mine the other day, I, could, I think I could minister in a proper now. I'm going to strip you Because if the Lord took, sent me there, I'd be able to talk to the people concerning the kingdom instead of being overwhelmed by what they were engaged in. But that's a total reliance and in interaction with him at the same time. Simultaneous interaction with the Lord. Right. 
I guess I sometimes think is that the the retirement gift the bitch was talking about is that you need to shoot all the clocks in the house metaphorically <laughs> to say I'm no longer tied to a you know a timepiece. Yeah, legit, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I, I've been trying to hear one of my friends. Uh, well, we've been talking like a jack of heaven, but uh, he, his job situations keep him, he said, distracted. But my thing was, I think your job situation should offer opportunity for ministry, not in the sense that you're going to start talking about Jesus, but in the sense you're going to do your job in such a manner that they're going to see the Jesus in you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, right, right. And I think that's you can the information and wisdom from the Lord, but Lord will orchestrate the situation where you can impart the information. Yeah. But you know, I think they talked about guys that in the in the first century church that have stopped working so that they can just minister, but they had stopped doing anything. <laughs> you know, they, they had said that they were gonna be ministering, but what they were doing was just, you know, going from a few houses to houses and collecting money and stuff, but they weren't really ministering. So ministry did not until we don't really have to become monks in, in order to move. We can't. We don't totally separate ourselves from the from the from the uh, from the from the, the, the perspective disciples. Right. Right. We just entered into a different dimension. I mean we're doing a different way. Right. And I and I find the challenges to say when you talk about even this form is and teaching teach it says we, we want to encourage people how to study the Word of God, balance the, the time with God, and balance the time with the things of this world. Because I think most of us got the mouth of church. Yeah. Yeah. If you ain't being CRT fruitful, then you got to figure out what kind of soil you are. <laughs> there, there was uh, no, I, no, no, I no. think so. <laughs> I think it's a poison. Yeah, I, I think a lot of got some thorns all in there, man. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the gist of it is sometimes you get stuck in the scripture. Uh, As a matter of fact, I, I'm gonna say, are you CRT fruitful? <laughs> well, I, I um, uh, on a personal it's, note, it's I, I, I can get back to first. I mean, the, was that the first one we wanted? That the first or the second one? That the first one we did. First one was a parable. The parable of the soul, right? Yeah. And, and, I, and I had that little thing stuck in there, like, man, I still didn't understand what was going on after we finished the discussion last week. So. I know, and you said I it. I just got caught up, man. <laughs> hey, I, yeah, Elder was still said, I ain't getting I, it. I ain't getting it. <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, so. that, that's why you need to read the, do the nine, that Luke 9 for us. <laughs> yep. Nine. Look, 9, 23 to 27. Yeah. What, you were bringing I, up? Maybe I, have to talk I think about I, I talked about it in my CLT. I talked about the condition of the heart, but I didn't see that in the, in the parable. You know what I'm saying? When you talk right. about the disciples. I did. I did. Yeah. I didn't see them or uh, him saying, you got to deny yourself. That's the fruit the ground right there. You got to die. Hey, so that's the state of discipleship that we're all striving to do when we were dead to self. Right. Why don't you bring yeah, the program? That's the program. Hey, look. Why don't you tie that in for us on Thursday night? All right, we we'll do that. Go do one more time. We have a music practice that. Exactly. And we can move on Sunday morning. Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. We'll all right, do it. All right, y'all. Y'all stay blessed. <laughs>